I'm Simran Sethi, and this is The Good Fight, the series that looks at the big changes that are underway to mitigate climate change and create a cleaner, greener future for everyone. We're in Greensburg, Kansas, a small town of about 1,400 residents that was nearly completely destroyed by a tornado in May of 2007. I want you to just tell me a little bit about that day. I turned on a police radio at that time, and he said the town's going to take a direct hit. And when you hear that, it, it makes it real, yeah. really fast. Yeah, as soon as it hit the city limits, the lights went off, and we knew this was it. So we hunkered down in a closet in the basement. Uh, the tornado was basically 1.7 miles wide when it came through town. We lost the whole city. People not only didn't have their business to go to, they didn't have their home to operate their business out of. They didn't have anything. I couldn't recognize where I was at. There was no landmarks. Uh, the buildings were gone, neighbors' houses were gone. I couldn't believe that you were seeing the same town. It's almost like you weren't on Earth anymore. You know, it's pretty weird. And I came and walked around the corner, and my husband was standing there with Allie. And I... It, it was uh, it was very emotional at that time. I mean, you, you in a matter of a few seconds, you realize not only did we lose everything we own, but everybody we knew lost everything they own. I guess the first thing you have to think about is, what's next? What do you do? How how do you get past this? What do you do next? What Greensburg decided to do next was to explore the best way to rebuild their community and what it would mean to rebuild green. The initial responses. Uh, when we talked about green and sustainability uh, early on was, what is green? <laughs> I think the general attitude before the tornado was that green, uh, it's just, it's a wild concept. I know in my spot I was thinking, I don't have time to learn all that, I've got to get a house built. So it's truly an act of courage to step back and say, we're willing to wait. <laughs> we're willing to integrate the green concept Brandon and Stacy Hoche were one of the first families to rebuild a green home in Greensburg. In what ways is this a greenhouse? The biggest feature that, w that I feel in the house is we used a uh, total energy solution package. It's a closed attic system and it's blow-in expandable foam insulation. And uh, it's all sealed and they said it's supposed to be 50 times more efficient than an Energy Star rated home. So we're very excited about that. It's been kind of an interesting thing because everybody goes, well, you know, you got a bunch of cowboys out there in the middle of prairie. They're not going to be interested in this. Everybody comes to you and says, you know, is my house going to be green enough? The flooring's made out of 100% recycled material. The windows are low E glass. Uh, we've used E down to the tankless hot water system. So uh, you're not wasting gas when you're not using water. And we, we just tried to implement as many green aspects as we could in our house. There's supposed to be 200 houses uh, built between 2008 and 2009, and uh, there's already 100 being built right now, if not finished. So yeah. awesome. It's awesome. It is amazing. Yeah. It, it's kind of funny having the name Greensburg, and, it, and I said, well, that shouldn't be hard to come up with a slogan. We'll just call this as green as it gets. Less than a year later, the residents are transforming a crisis into an opportunity and rebuilding green. On the next Good Fight webisode, we'll see how the leaders of Greensburg are taking on the big picture of greening their town.